God is determined. Let me tell you something. Whatever followed you into this place this night, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, it will leave you this night. Please, I want you to believe. If you are not ready to believe, just pack your Bible and go back home. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying that if it is God that put this meeting, whatever followed you from wherever that came with you this night, as surely as the heavens are above the earth, it will not follow you back home. That every family represented here, every family, listen, you're not just standing for yourself alone. I need you to understand. God gave us an instruction that this is for family. What God, the deliverance that will happen for families tonight will amaze you. I want you to know that this tragedy of your family, it will be buried tonight in this place once and for all. The Bible says they heard the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith. Some of you are standing and just staring what is happening. Let your faith rise because the mighty God is in this place. Hallelujah. It's mighty. While I prayed and I prepared for this program, I had multiple visions of the mighty breakthroughs. I saw it time and again. I literally saw chains over families being loose. Chains of as far as 20, 25 years. I saw many people coming with pictures. I saw these things. I saw pictures. I saw files for jobs. I saw all kinds of prophetic connections. I tell you the truth. If God be God, God will visit you and end his captivity. The Bible says when the Lord turn again the captivity of Zion we were like them that bring HIV will bow tonight cancer will bow tonight everything called barrenness will bow tonight marital delay will bow tonight Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name. He said at the mention of that name, at the mention of that name, blood groups can change. Cripples can get out of wheelchairs. Deaf ears can open. Blind eyes will open. Hallelujah. Tonight there will be mighty restoration. The prophet told Saul, he said, go back, the donkey that was missing has been found. This night, I prophesy to you, many of you have lost a lot of things. There are families here literally crying. Some of you came all the way from end to end of this nation. You will know that God is alive in this place. So let hope, let it rise. Let this turn in your Sing it as a word of prophecy to you. So let hope, let it rise. Hallelujah. 
blood diseases will bow tonight. There is a disease that has been on rampage recently. They call it hepatitis. Whether A, B, C or whatever. It's been killing people around like chickens. But tonight, watch it bow before the one who created the heavens and the earth. Watch it bow before the one who created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Lift your hands in one minute and say, Lord, I believe. Go ahead and pray. Tell him, Lord, I believe. Say, Lord, don't let unbelief find expression in me. No matter how great my situation is. service hallelujah hallelujah I'm always I'm always very humbled at the things that God is doing in our midst listen See, you will be mistaken if you think this is about Joshua Selman. Do you not see that this is bigger than everybody here? Do you not see that there is a hand that is not of a man? Do you not read the handwritings on a wall? No man is able to do this, brothers and sisters. There is no degree of mental acumen that can bring this kind of result. This is why we give the glory to God. Do you not see? The Bible says only a fool in his heart will say there is no God. Hallelujah. Many of us have come from different places. Across this city, across the nation. There are thousands of people streaming with us online. Connecting with their hearts hungry. You will not be disappointed. You didn't come to meet a harbalist. You didn't come to meet one of the traditional rulers in your village. You came to meet the all-wise God. The one who is never scratching his head wondering what to do about your situation. The Bible says with the breath of his nostril the sea parted. Hallelujah. Please pick up your Bibles. Exodus 10. Those outside, can you shout a big hallelujah? 
let the devil know you did not come to play shout a big hallelujah exodus 10 bless you just hug one another greet somebody and sit down quickly let's get to the business of tonight please greet someone Exodus chapter 10. Once upon a time, there was a wicked beast and a wizard called Pharaoh. For 430 years, he held the people of God. And the Bible says, when the time came, for the release and the exodus of those people god called a man called moses hallelujah a very feeble man and he said i will do signs with you you will bring the nation of israel out of egypt the land of captivity regardless of the fact that they have been there for 430 years and he said i will harden the heart of pharaoh and i will bring several plagues hallelujah chapter 10 verse 7 are you there chapter 10 verse 7 and Pharaoh's servants said unto him it's projected so you can look at it if you care how long shall this man be a snare unto us? This was a response to the mighty miracles and the plagues. There were frogs, the water turned to blood. Yet this Pharaoh said, no way. These signs are not enough to let you go. Hallelujah. Pharaoh saw diverse signs and wonders. Yet his heart was hardened. And when locusts, the Bible says he picked from the dust of the earth and threw it to the heavens and they became locusts. And the Bible says, Pharaoh's servants, all the magicians, they, they came to a point where they were weary because it was miracle after miracle. Yet Pharaoh said, you can be weary, but me, I'm the last man. I will hold these destinies. And they will not move forward follow me tonight the bible says let the men go this was the counsel of the magicians and the, all the wise men and sorcerers to pharaoh he said that they may do what serve the lord he said let them go that they may serve the lord they are god he said knowest thou not yet that egypt is destroyed are you not seeing that these signs are gradually destroying the strength of egypt these were the principalities of egypt they were talking to pharaoh they said look we are dying we are losing strength just let them go verse 8 and moses and aaron were brought again to pharaoh he said and he said unto them listen he said go serve the lord your god but who are they that will go everybody look up this is a question he said i will allow you go but who are those who will go this is why the lord instructed us he said come with your family members for those who are, they are not here he said who are those who will go if your family members are not here stand and say lord i'm representing every member of my family because this is about an exodus is that true but my bible says pharaoh said list all the people you want to go with you because i'm not ready to let everybody go but tonight that devil will let every one person verse 9 and moses said listen moses started listing all the people that must leave egypt 
he said we will go with our young come on now many young people have been captured by satan but moses came he said we will go with our young he said even the old cancer will not take them no devil will take them he said with the old he said and with our sons and with our daughters even with our what flocks and with our herds we will go he said for we must hold the feast unto the lord verse 10 and he said unto them let the lord be so with you as i will let you go and your little ones and look to it for evil is before you hallelujah can i tell you something brothers and sisters tonight you will not just go alone are you hearing me but do you know that after all of these negotiations pharaoh refused to let them go nine plagues nine plagues pharaoh kept saying i will let you go and then he will change his mind it looks like the breakthrough is coming and pharaoh will come it looks like the marriage is coming and it will come turn with me to chapter 11 verse 1 there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain to break every chain to break every hallelujah let's read verse 11 chapter 11 verse 1 is projected everybody are you ready one to read yet we like bring one more plague upon pharaoh and upon egypt afterwards he will let you go is that in your bible god said there is one plague i reserve pharaoh refused to let you january february you are entering the 10th month he said there are 10 plagues hear me i bring you a prophetic word he said there is one more plague pharaoh thought he has seen everything but there is one more plague he said yet will i bring one more pharaoh doesn't need to see many again one more plague and that hiv will leave one more plague and that dog job will open one more plague and that vision will speak one more plague yet i will bring one more plague one more plague nine plagues and pharaoh refused to let that destiny go nine plagues and he said you will not marry nine plagues he said your spiritual life will keep going up and down nine plagues he said that building project will not be completed nine plagues and he said there will never be joy in your family but he said there is one more plague one more plague one more plague he said i will bring it upon pharaoh and egypt after that he will let you go to break every chain break every chain break every chain chapter 12 chapter 12 verse 12 my spirit is fired up tonight i want you to read want to read for i will pass through the land of egypt and i will smite all the firstborn in the land of egypt both man and beast and against all the gods of egypt i will execute judgment why i am the owner of your destiny the bible says the earth belongs to the lord the earth belongs to the lord whatever has held your destiny he said i will pass by
Come on, just pray in tongues for one minute. Let this revelation sink into your spirit. Believe it. I will pass by Egypt tonight. I will pass by your family tonight. I will pass by your marital issue tonight. I will pass by. I will pass by. I will execute judgment. I will execute vengeance. Pharaoh must let you go. Hallelujah. Yet one more plague will I bring upon Pharaoh. One more plague. You don't need to beg him again. One more plague. One more plague. Moses kept begging him. Let the people go. I beg you. God said enough. No more begging. I will bring one more plague. He said this night I will pass upon the land. When all the sorcerers and the necromancers. When they are doing their project. He said I, I will pass by tonight. Verse 33. My God, mighty things are already happening. Verse 33. Verse 33. Are you ready? Look at me before you read. The Bible says that night the nation of Egypt woke up with a lamentation. It said there was no door in Egypt that did not have a cry. That means there is no case that was not visited. Every door God passed by supervised it by the angel of death and showed that everyone that contributed to the sufferings of the nation of Israel received a share of judgment and the bible says when that plague came what happened verse 33 read it one to read stop the egyptians were what were what they said please go 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 carry your healing carry the marriage go let your family go we have held them for years but let them go now i want you to read it read the whole chapter 33 want to read and the egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste for they said the same pharaoh 430 years captivity ended in one night but listen if pharaoh just lets you go like that he still cheated you are you hearing what i'm saying <laughs> 36 mighty god want to read everybody I prophesy to you I prophesy to you in the name that is above all names not only will your family go tonight there will be restoration there will be increase I speak it to the heavens. Hallelujah. Look up. That means while they were in slavery working for themselves, Pharaoh thought they were working for him. But the Bible says in one night, Pharaoh gave them everything. You've been laboring, somebody has been eating it. God said, don't worry. In the kingdom, you don't lose this night.
hear me there are some of your parents who have retired they didn't pay them their pension they didn't do anything this night my god and the god who sits upon the throne Pharaoh will let you go for sure while I prayed and prepared for this meeting hallelujah I had many encounters in the spirit and the Lord opened my eyes and I saw many many deliverances listen believe me i will not come here and lie to you hallelujah many deliverances it's time for you to go those who have questioned the validity of your christianity you don't need to reply them something will happen in your life something will happen in your family that will let every devil know that you do not serve God and receive the reward of wicked men. As is happening to you here, this is how it's happening to everyone. And tonight, that prayer request you are holding, the same way a rod became a serpent, that means the prayer request can become a testimony. will speak please sit down quickly this is what God is going to be doing tonight hallelujah look at me I feel very sad when many people fail to understand or accept the fact that Satan is responsible for the predicaments that are in families are you hearing what I'm saying there are many people that have found all kinds of Christian ways say oh no problem I'm born again everything is all right I've said it again and again if it was all right your family will be all right faith is not stupidity are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness egypt was the land of captivity but israel were god's own covenant people yet they were still in that situation god's own people he said israel is my firstborn yet they were still suffering like that God said it is time because they kept crying they kept crying to the Lord hallelujah many of you have cried there are many families that came here with tears in their eyes and said Lord will you not wipe our tears but the Lord is going to visit you now very quickly in a few minutes I like us to examine three things that permit the operations of the power of darkness in lives and especially families it's not enough to just prophesy hallelujah we need to know what has given satan legal access over lives over families over destinies number one sin everybody says sin now we don't talk about sin in church again because we believe there is nothing wrong sin is the greatest doorway for the free flow of evil please are you hearing me tonight sin the bible says in psalm 66 verse 18 it says if i cherish iniquity in my heart the lord will not hear me when i pray if god does not hear you who else will hear you 
hallelujah sin a life of sin is the number one access there's free flow of demonic activities now there are many christians that like receiving miracles from god there are many families that are trusting god for breakthroughs there are many lives you want a job you want to get married you want god to change your health status but sin 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 is a cancer in the spirit it opens the gates of men's destinies and make them vulnerable so it's not enough to prophesy and tell you what god wants to do we must first close that doorway that gives satan legal access right now you don't know the difference between a christian and a non-christian they do everything they sing everything they go everywhere and say it does not matter let me tell you straight to the point god is not a herbalist kingdom principles are the things that guarantee the hand of god in your life are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says come out from among them and be ye separate touch not the unclean thing it said what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness many of us are suffering the things we are suffering right now because of a perpetual state we, we are perpetually living we are living in sin walking in iniquity we say it does not matter unfortunately there are many of our churches and ministers that endorse it and say it's all right if you can bring an offering it's all right if you dress well it's all right if you know the christian languages it's all right this is why many men of god and many ministers are powerless let me tell you the truth the power of god to heal the power of god to deliver has not gone anywhere is still present men it's easy to come and hold the mic and wear suits but sin and iniquity have eaten up anointing from men of god eating up anointing from churches and so there are all kinds of religious activities happening having the form but there is no power sick people come they go back the same demons come they hold mic they lead services people jump no discernment are you hearing what i'm saying tonight there are many fathers who although they are married they are still roaming around chasing small small girls sleeping around and wondering why demons are oppressing the family stop it hallelujah sin and iniquity there are many people who only run to god when there is an emergency when things are going fine you got the job you got the promotion everybody leaves god and we go and do everything we want to do and then when things backfire everybody now runs to god oh man of god help me oh this and that help me you must make up your mind tonight and say away with sin see let me tell you something the born again that many people are saying they are born again let me tell you there are many people that are not born again because they are born again is not producing any conversion there are no fruits when i got born again i born again genuinely i know what i was doing that i cannot do again you cannot claim to be born again and there is no difference in your life what you used to do before and after is the same the way you are the same thing you used to struggle with before and after react the bible says we should re-examine ourselves many of us ran to jesus christ because they told you he would give you a car and he would give you a house and then they say if you want to give your life to jesus christ come out see that you recite born again prayer does not guarantee that you are born again are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says except ye be born of water 
and of the spirit sin while I prayed the Lord told me he said address it believers there is no limit to God, what God wants to bring in your life there is no limit to the increase but you must address the issue of sin address it the Bible says sin shall no more have dominion sin shall no more have dominion the pleasures of sin are for a while but the consequences are grave and eternal hallelujah are you hearing what i'm saying who shall ascend to the hill of the lord the bible says not he that speaks in tongues not he that is a pastor no he that has clean hands and a pure heart who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully gideon stop seeing the miracles that the fathers were saying that ah, this miracle happened that miracle happened gideon said where are these miracles where are they hallelujah ah, can you help me with a fan i'm burning up here please hallelujah sin is not your friend are you hearing what i'm saying some of you know what i'm saying but the grace to walk in the truth is what is not there everybody say in the name of jesus say in the name of jesus sin iniquity shall not have dominion over my body i say no to sin i say no to iniquity say one more time i say no to sin no to iniquity run away from it please run away from it ladies you people are the most vulnerable because you are emotional all kinds of things happen to people and we give all kinds of explanations i'm telling you tonight sin will perpetually permit satan to walk in your life that spirit of holiness when purity and holiness rises from your heart then you will see the hand of god once again gideon said why are we not seeing the miracles and he told him he said there is something go and destroy it number two ignorance of the principles of god ignorance of the principles of the kingdom the second reason the second reason i follow me please somebody with migraine the lord just healed you migraine headache migraine headache has been healed right now right now everybody say ignorance many of us are ignorant we don't know what the bible says about our finances about our health about protection and frankly we don't care frankly we don't care just go to church on sunday Many of us just carry your Bibles. Go to church on Sunday. Come back. What did they teach today? Oh, they said that Jesus is Lord. And this and that. And many preachers, what we just teach are stories. Stories, stories. I was coming back from Brazil and I bought this suit. It's so, 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 who cares? Who cares? Who cares? 
when you teach the people of God the principles of the kingdom he said and I will give you the keys of the kingdom when you have those keys he said whatever shall be bound in the earth will be bound in the heaven whatever by reason of those keys many of us have not paid the price many families here are just running families on trial and error many of us are running our lives intellectually the bible says they know not neither do they understand psalms 82 from verse 5 to 7 they know not neither do they understand he said they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course but have i not said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high he said but ye shall die like mere men and fall like one of these princes hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 he said my people are destroyed because they lack knowledge get wisdom the bible says get understanding say my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of thy mouth keep them in the midst of your heart he said they are life to those who find them and health unto their flesh the principles of the kingdom many of us have not paid attention at all to the principles of the kingdom you will not just become financially prosperous because you got a job no there is an economic system that governs this kingdom you will not just live long and not die by accident there are spiritual principles that guarantee this you will not just be successful in your endeavors by magic no there are principles say after me in the name of jesus i receive grace to learn the principles of the kingdom say one more time in the name of jesus i receive grace there are many families here for instance one of the reasons why they are struggling financially and they may keep struggling like that till jesus comes is because they do not understand the kingdom principles there are many of us here and many families who are not faithful in tithing if you are not a tither you are scripturally entitled to poverty scripturally whether you believe it or not is not the issue many people don't believe in jesus does it stop jesus from existing that you don't believe the truth will not change it the bible says for we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth you can argue it it may not fit your economic logic but let me tell you these are the principles of the kingdom and the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne hallelujah ignorance how many of us have not paid attention to the things of the spirit number three very quickly covenants ordinances of darkness I want you to listen to this one look up please did you know that there are many families what they are suffering hear me please are beyond the immediate family and the people father is quarreling with mother mother is quarreling with father sisters and brothers are quarreling whereas the root cause are yokes of darkness all kinds of ancestral ordinances now many preachers have come up with nice theologies oh it doesn't exist 
when you are born again it's just blessings that come even blessings you position yourself to receive it how much more will you position yourself to avert all of these dangers are you hearing what i'm saying please many families let me tell you the truth are under yokes of bondage many people were covenanted to ordinances of darkness the parents just got up this fan is not helping me oh, who put this thing technical team uh -uh. the fan is not ministering to me nothing is going on agada adjust this thing in a way he's going like this and he's not even reaching me or just turn it praise god look at me can i tell you the truth i have prayed for too many people to allow anybody confuse me are you hearing what i'm saying it's not just that i found it in scripture only god knows how many families would have been ravaged by the devil if not because the intervention of god came in many of you what you are suffering tonight whether academically whether maritally as a family there are families that are suffering yokes of poverty and financial hardship no matter what happens nobody will lift up his head in that family and a lot of people just say oh they, I, I don't believe it there's nothing wrong look at it your marriageable age nothing is happening you've just been praying in tongues nothing is happening open up your heart you are sleeping in the night people are coming to press you they are sleeping with you molesting you doing all kinds of things and now you get up in the morning and say it does not matter you are watching your life going down the, go down the drain somebody wants to help your family members the day before they help them they just change their mind and say i won't help you again are you not seeing the handwriting of satan hallelujah i've shared it here we once ministered remember the testimony of a man who came during one of the services with hiv how did he get the hiv it's not that he was unfaithful he was just sleeping in the night please listen somebody appears to him in the dream with a big syringe and he said this is hiv virus injected him in the spirit and he woke up in the physical realm with hiv are you hearing what i'm saying have you seen people say students during exams they said blackout huh you read and do tutorial for others you are sure you sit down in the exam hall and the only thing you can remember is your name then the moment you finish it you will still answer the question people think you are lazy a man comes to propose to you huh? a man comes to propose to you he says i want to marry you for the next three months everything around that man's life scatters till he leaves he said well i don't know what you carry but from the day i came no joy no peace he can't sleep people are chasing him flogging him say you better leave that girl oh. they... or you just get up one day you're just moving and you just sense that there is a lump in your breast where did he come from he said okay i read one medical book that says this and that and that keep quiet that's the devil of darkness and it will bow this night yeah. hallelujah everything keeps working for others until it gets to your turn why is it that every time it gets to your turn or the turn of your family members they put certain positions in the office and there are benefits attached to that position the day your father is promoted that's the day they withdraw the benefits see nothing just happens in this realm are you hearing what i'm saying nothing 
just happens that's a revelation i want you to get for the rest of your life nothing happens by magic hallelujah there are families here that have circles of all kinds of satanic nonsense nobody in their family ever gets to marry correctly they either have children outside and that's the heritage they exist but much more than those things are the reality of the fact that Christ has defeated this and we can take on that victory and establish it but for you to say they don't exist that's another deceit you are deceiving yourself a man graduates and holds his certificate as if it's a death sentence moving with it from state to state from pillar to post after suffering for years crying under the rain there are many of our parents after working for 20 years 30 years they retire and not even a small house is that true not even a two bedroom flat and they got millions and millions of naira they were not sleeping outside they were not unfaithful what happened they cannot ex explain even five thousand naira they cannot bring it and say take a blessing tonight that pharaoh must let you go i said that pharaoh must let you go there are many of us here the truth is you are surrounded by many people who have the means to help you is that true they have the means to help you they can help any other person who is not even in your family but you come up to them and say uncle i'm going to school again you say okay come back tomorrow you get back that tomorrow and it's as if something turned his head upside down you say if you don't disappear from this house i will kick you go and meet your irresponsible father or irresponsible mother to pay your school fees yet in church the same church you are going to they say those who can give two million naira he will come out and drop it there cash there are some of you your parents at home you don't even have gas cooker to cook with but many churches have been built on their money they can give five million naira for a building project but to buy 10,000 naira wrapper for your mother is better for them to burn the money it's not normal even the men themselves it's just that we men we are egotistic so we will not agree the men are shocked when a, a mother or father looks at their daughter and said i don't care about you i will even disown you it's not normal but now the mistake and this is hear me this is the balance that there are many men of god that have succeeded in joining together the heads of people in churches oh your mother is a witch oh your husband is a witch your wife is a witch this listen to me there are very few witches in the world are you hearing what i'm saying many people are just being influenced and manipulated they are not possessed so tonight don't sit down there and say thank god my mother is here this witch uh -uh. Uh -uh. very dangerous teachings and this is what the prophets see somebody can be influenced with a demon spirit a christian born again and what the prophet will see is that demon spirit and then the next thing you say ah this woman is a witch this is why we need discernment even as we explore spiritual things so that we stop causing trouble in families hallelujah but could it be that your cry and the cry of your family members is as a result of this because many of you love God but your family members are where you are you are already seeing the things happening to your parents happening to you now they told you the story when they were about your age you were just confessing and saying I'm okay you are seeing an exact repetition of that same thing happening 
when Abraham lied and said Sarah should say she's his sister was Isaac there answer me was Isaac there yes later Isaac now came and lied again about Rebecca same thing wickedness is real it exists hallelujah there are some of you that never start anything and finish your father has done 20 things in 10 years none of them was complete but Jesus is in this place tonight to answer you once and for all hallelujah how many of us are ready to receive this free this free blessing that God brings for us yes be tired of where you are see I've shared my story with you I was a preacher and I was still being oppressed by demons are you hearing what I'm saying years ago I thought it was just normal I would lie down to sleep in the night and suddenly spirits will enter my room literally everything I wanted to do whether to call the name of Jesus or whatever it was helpless it looked like these demons my prayer my confession was doing nothing to them this is the situation with some of you while you are calling Jesus the devil is mocking you and laughing because there are spiritual principles and if you do not know it when you find yourself in a hole you will need somebody to bring you out of that hole are you hearing what I'm saying I remember one time I was counseling and one very arrogant woman of God came I didn't know if she came to counsel me or I came to counsel her when I sat down I was trying to as soon as she sat down the Lord revealed her problem to me and I was trying to help her and you know preachers can be so arrogant they are entering the hole. They are telling you, no, I'm seated in heavenly places. Look, faith is not foolishness. Are you hearing what I'm saying? When things are not working, you have done everything you know. Look for help, quick. Hallelujah. And I told this woman, I said, madam, God is showing me something. No, 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 no. How can no? I don't take it. I don't. I say, madam, okay, calm down. I'm sorry for offending your theology, but I want you to know this. No, no, no. I am this. Look, the Bible says this. I'm not ignorant of the word of God, though. The Bible said, don't be ignorant. Blah 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 blah. Before she finished, I said, out, and that was how she started manifesting. At the end of it, she got up, and we won and removed several things. The protocol people were there, and I said, all this, non what is, what are you bragging and talking nonsense for? it does not mean that your, your theology is wrong what people do not understand is that it takes faith to establish what has been done in the spirit it's not established automatically just like god says you are blessed but it's not yet speaking but when you carry out certain kingdom principles it will bring to bear that which has been said to have finished so god is not going to do anything new tonight it is faith that will establish what has been finished is the establishing that we are doing now the bible says forever O lord thy word is settled where not in the earth the word is not yet settled in the earth that's why the bible says we do not yet see all things under his feet but we see jesus there are many misguided theologies that are punishing christians again and again the other balance is when they tell people forever in your life you need deliverance every day every time forever this is nonsense are you hearing what i'm saying so god is going to visit families open up your spirit and say lord tonight i don't care how my freedom will come let it come i am tired tired many of us inherited all kinds of things tonight no matter how small the problem is 
make sure you don't keep quiet i read that scripture for you he said he passed through every house in egypt don't say my own is just this slight migraine it comes once in a while it's not a serious issue deal with it before it becomes a serious issue anything short of the garden of eden in your life refuse it this night are you hearing what i'm saying we will end it truly we will end it it will end it will end i'm prophesying to you it will end the lord is showing me somebody here your brother has a mental situation it's beginning to happen as if the person is as if something is mental or so when it's time to minister to people i'll minister to you it's just something the lord is showing me hallelujah everybody there are people standing outside floating all around let me tell you god will visit you it doesn't matter where you are don't just say i'm not inside whether you are sitting on the fence or wherever just know that god will visit you hallelujah rise up on your feet everybody lift your voice and begin to pray say father this night is my night lift your voice and pray this night is my night this night is my night and i will bring one more plague upon pharaoh and upon egypt and pharaoh will let you go i will bring one more plague one more plague Come on, everybody, begin to bless God. Say, my change has come. Begin to praise God. Pray. Say, Lord, visit the root of my problem, no matter what it is. Hallelujah. John. John, who is John? John. John. Come out now. John. Sarkin Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is Yoruba? There is a John that is Yoruba. John, you are Yoruba. Why did you sit down? Look, Mr. Man, this is not trial and error. God wants to help you. You are Yoruba. Where's your mother? She's late. Do you know why I asked you? Because where's your father? He's in the U.S. The spirit, eh? West. The spirit of death wants to take the life of your father. This is what the Lord is showing me. That the same thing that happened to your mother is what the devil wants to bring. But this night we are going to cancel it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I will send one more plague upon Pharaoh and he will let you go. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus. I'm using him as a point of contact for all of you, but this is really the person I wanted to speak to. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I command this power of darkness 
this manifestation of death over John's father be lifted right now in the name of Jesus be lifted right now in the name of Jesus and to every person represented here be lifted I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ bless you go back to your seat I'm seeing a baby a woman you came with a child it's a baby girl you see the baby is sick the baby cries many times just the baby is always crying who is the person a baby girl a baby girl a baby girl the lord is ministering to me please let's save time we have a lot to do this night a baby girl you came with a baby girl the baby is always crying this is a demonic thing outside the woman is outside the lord is showing me now the woman is outside please hurry up if if there's nobody like that let's continue come quickly please What is wrong with your baby? He do cry every night. Do you know me? Have I met you? No, sir. Every night. He do cry every night. Do you know why? This is the spirit of death. Remember when this lady was one year old, what happened to her? Crying. It's not. This girl would have died since because she had wanted like fever. Or something when she was around one one very serious like you thought it was because teeth was coming out yes is that true is that true this is what the lord is showing me this is the devil we are going to destroy this right now hmm? she's sleeping somebody come and hold ushers welfare whoever okay there are ladies here no 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 don't keep her on the ground just hold and let me pray for her father in the name of jesus you assured us that one more plague you will release and Pharaoh will let her go. This foul devil of darkness that is responsible for this girl's predicament, I take authority over it right now. I declare that a visitation comes for this family once and for all. A visitation for you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I want to pray. I want to pray. This is a moment of deliverance right now. Mighty, massive, mighty, massive, mighty, massive deliverance. For many of you, remember it's not just you, but it's your family members. Hallelujah. The Spirit of God is going to move in a mighty way, bringing hope and deliverance to many people. That devil that has kept your destiny tied down right now is about to give way are you hearing what i'm saying that devil that is responsible for your predicaments outside there will be a mighty move of the spirit i'm already seeing the angels of god i'd like you to pray and say lord visit me say lord visit me say lord visit me now lift up your hands everybody Please lift your hands, everybody. Hallelujah. What I'm seeing is light. I'm seeing light just moving left and right all across. Light. That's what I'm seeing. The light will shine in the darkness. At the count of seven, we are going to shout the name Jesus. Hear me. For many of you, the power of God is already coming on you. As we shout that name seven, I'd like you to shout with all your heart that name that is above every other name. And as we shout that name, there will be a baptism of fire and every devil is already happening to some people it's already happening to people outside all across all across at the count of seven are you ready one two three four five six seven Shake it, 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 shake it
Bring them out. Fire. The fire is falling. Every altar of darkness. Outside. Outside. Fire is falling. There are angels moving. There are angels moving. We're going to shout that name again. I just saw angels moving from this place, going outside. Moving from this place, going outside. At the count of three, we're going to shout that name again. No power will stand. No power will stand. Don't drag us, instrumentalists. Don't drag us, be sensitive, walk the spirits. At the count of three, one, two, three, shout. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost move across this place. Outside, fire is falling. Outside, receive it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. in this row, just lift your hands. God is going to fish out some devils of darkness. No power will hide tonight. At the count of three, this row, some of you, before you finish shouting Jesus, the fire of God will come upon you in a mighty way. At the count of three, right now, one, two, three, Take it, 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 at the back this row at the back the power of God is coming on someone at the back at the back it will come like fire right now you can't stand it. You can't stand it. You can't stand it. Shake it. Break it. Take it. My sense the devil to show her. Break it. Tell it to show her. Shake it. Take it. Break it. Ah. 
Elohim, Elohim Madonah. Elohim, Elohim Madonah. Elohim Madonah. Elohim Madonah. God is visiting your family troops. An angel is standing close to you. A fire will come upon you right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. That altar of darkness. Time up. Time up. Time up. Time up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the back, this row. At the back, this row. At the back. The angels of the Lord are moving to the back. I pray in the name of Jesus that everyone here who is under any yoke at the count of three let the fire fall one two three receive it right now at the back the power of god is coming upon someone like fire at the back at the back at the back Hallelujah. At the back, the power of God just came upon the person now at the back. There are still people outside. Please, those outside, lift your hands. I'm flowing as the Holy Ghost. Now, listen. Those are the those outside in this row. I mean, those who are at the back. That's the back of the building. Here, lift your hands. No, no, no. You're not getting it. Outside the door. Those who are at the back, there, lift your hands. There are two of you. The fire of God will come down mightily upon you right now. Right now, let it happen. The fire of God, it will move across that entire row outside in a mighty way. In a mighty way, in a mighty way, outside there, I'm seeing it in the spirit. Bring them here. Bring them out. Now, those outside, please lift your hands. I'm going to count three. I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. There are some of you that God is visiting your family. The devil will not hide. At the count of three, shout it with all your heart. The power of God will hit you like a tornado. One, two, three. Shake it, shake it. Take it, take it, take it, the fire is falling. Take it now, the fire is falling. Bring them in. Bring them in. Shake it, 
Bring them in. No devil will stop them. Bring them in. Bring them in. The fire is still falling outside. Fire is still falling outside. <laughs> Everything that has tied your destiny, this night it was it shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 Hallelujah. We have to hurry up. There's a lot for us to do. Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing. A snake. Out. Out of her. That devil of darkness. Now. Now. Now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Come out right now. Out. 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 Come out. Come out right now. Out of her. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Let her go. Out of her now. There's an army rising up. Fire upon you now. Go, 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 go. Out. Lord is showing me a very big fish like a whale. This is what I'm seeing. To break every chain. Break every chain. Now at the count of three you are leaving this lady. Never to return. You know my voice. One. Two. Three. Go. Go right now. Out of her. Out of her now. Lay your hands on her back. Out now. Now you're going. 
by the fire of the Holy Ghost. A protege teke te, reke teke shaba, ambre kotoso preke ni araba. Madam, please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look away now. Just let go. It's you I'm talking to. Forget about who. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? I'm a secretary assistant. I'm seeing. I'm not seeing. I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We are going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Out! 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 By the fire of the Holy Ghost. She's going to cut out something now. Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. Zeta pakarosa prandede nakata. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to us. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. Please come. Look at me. Look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Since when? More than what? It will end this night in the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Now, devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit out of her right now. The 
Lord is revealing something to me. It goes right now. Take her back to her seat and keep checking her. I'm seeing a woman. They diagnose you of fibroid. Please, let's hurry up. You came here. It's part of your prayer, your list. Not a young lady, a woman. We need to end it right now. We need to end it right now. A dark woman, you are putting her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. It will disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold. Thank you, Jesus. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now. And let her return with testimonies. Out of her. Now. You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You are going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shekata Bakata Lakatosa. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you, and you are leaving. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. How can a young man like this be so oppressed? Please lay your hands on him. Let me pray for him. Now. Let him go. Now. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Shekata there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see many of you let me explain to you what is happening it is not about the people some of them is the families that they represent this is the whole family being set free it's not even about the person are you hearing what i'm saying The Lord is ministering to me. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. You had an accident. How long? July. It's July. And from then you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But you didn't heal. You didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot work without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. 
you're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost go through your body hold him the Lord is doing a mighty work see he's feeling the fire of God you're feeling the fire of God your recovery starts from today are you hearing what I'm saying over the next few weeks weeks literally it will be but as a sign you'll be able to walk right now without this just leave him here. please clear this pathway brother look at me in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ look at me lift your leg start lifting your leg go ahead okay try moving it any relief are you feeling yes, really. walk by yourself walk by yourself come look at this look at this turn around turn around and come that devil is a liar your miracle has started could you do this before could you do this before look at this come on give jesus a big shout of praise look at look at look at look at see the miracle that is happening to his leg look at this look at this look at this he could not do this look at look at he's lifting the legs are you seeing watch a miracle happen watch a miracle happen jesus we give you praise jesus we give you praise look at look at this look at this look at this Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The front door is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be protected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look back to your seat. A mighty miracle has happened here. Someone, your hand is bent. It's bent. Check it now. Check it. You could not bend it. Please, God just showed me. It will surprise you. Run out right now. It's a big miracle. Somebody's hand. You could not bend it very well. The Lord is straightening it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. The Lord is straightening it right now. Look at this. What couldn't you do? You could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born before. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down, lift it up. Put it down, lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at the power of the Holy You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. And you see his hands shaking. Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now, in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now, right now, 
right now right now hallelujah peptic ulcer it's time to wave bye bye to it lift up your hands peptic ulcer we are going to start ministering now instant miracles will begin to happen pastor jakes is here we'll verify them and have some ah daddy can i talk to you sir i'm seeing stroke this is what the lord is showing me the devil wants to bring stroke from here i'm seeing it completely paralyzed this is what the lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring you believe me can i pray for you please hold my hands that devil of stroke let him go right now by the power of the holy ghost that stroke will not come we command that you are free in the name of jesus christ come god is visiting your family not just you your family hold my hands both of them look at me can you shout shout jesus as loud as you can go ahead hallelujah peptic also lift your hands please listen we are going to start praying right now instant miracles will start happening hallelujah where are your family members please come Mama, where is your first son? Don't point the picture. I, I'm saying, where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell in a child. I'm seeing a child. Uh, third boy, my immediate elder sister. We're going to pray because. Okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. My second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave now. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? going to pray for you hold my hands the power of god will come upon you captivity ends now out let this lady go free now the fire of the holy ghost right now in the name of jesus i curse that devil of infirmity in the name of the lord jesus christ be free be free right now hallelujah hallelujah peptic ulcer 
peptic ulcer lift your hands please now i'm going to pray for you pastor jake sir um well where do we do it now okay maybe we'll create once we begin to minister as the lord touches you check yourself we want to take some testimonies okay this side this side pastor jakes will be there pastor williams too is there please we we'll only announce verified miracles hallelujah praise the lord now lift your hands also in the name of the lord jesus christ look at me the fire of god is coming upon you dora right now in the name of the lord jesus christ take it now by the fire of the holy ghost Rekete kata balara bosh, mambreto so preketa. Shekete prekete balara ba. Hallelujah. Please, any miracle right now, Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command also. Some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Also, be healed now. This lady has also. God is healing her. This lady has also. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah! At the count of three, all shall be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of all shall. Shekete te 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 te. Shekete te te. Makapreke te lekota saba. Now check yourself. Check yourself, check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle, just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt. A female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One, two, three. Shake it, take it, take it. Reke te koto pata. So reke te 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 te. Ekre te kata balada bash. Out of her. Come out. Out right now. Shake it, 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 shake it. The name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. Shake up, bros, go break it, bash. Shake it, 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 from altars of darkness be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah they call a woman mama Yembu. mama Yembu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me is somebody's relative mama Yembu. Who is Mama MBU? You? Mama MBU, come. Do you? Where are the MBU? Your name is Mama MBU. 
How can God give a name in a play, Mama Embu? These are the MBU. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ life boy we bring life to you in the name of jesus madam hold my hands look at me the struggle is over in the name of jesus christ the struggle is over right now let it rain let it rain ah, hold my hands let her go 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 out leave the family one more plague and pharaoh will let you go by the fire of the holy ghost go you will be a woman of prayer from today praying in tongues for hours mama i will pray for you god will turn around any captivity in the name of jesus out of her Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Ulcer. Yes. When I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Ulcer, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my thumb together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, wouldn't have noticed it if you checked clearly. But now... So the pins are gone. Completely gone. If you press it, no pain. Please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow. I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you do something and you won't get any result. Now, the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her and forcing her to eat. And since when Apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm feeling relieved. 
Are you just looking like that? Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made my peace. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall become one flesh but the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families but right now i said right now he said one more plague and pharaoh will let you go lift your hands lift your hands I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances according to the word of the Lord. It will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I curse you. That spirit responsible for marital delay i open up your marital destiny now in the name of jesus i open up your marital destiny by the fire of the holy ghost i release you shake it fire is burning in this place shake it make god to sort of take market break it Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come up men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come and see their thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 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 fire fire is falling fire is forcing doors to open up fire is forcing doors Shake, 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 break it, make up the break it, shake, my brothers, cause it, rock it, rock it, break it, break it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, man, break it, take it, take it, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. 
Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selina. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed, nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus, womb be open right now. Womb be open. Now, mommy, return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl, baby girl, look at me, madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it, Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies, return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level, but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Wait. Uh -uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry. Even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building as I lay my hands on you, I tell you, finance will come from everywhere. Shake it, take a maca protoco te brasha, mate cretos copre, reke take a te, leke proso prosh, recata badica prosh, ma preke telecos, mam protosco pregate, go shata la cata pregate balabash, 
Rakaka Prekete, building projects, building projects. God is visiting in the name of Jesus. Supernatural testimonies. Some of you, before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two, number two, this is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do, yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you. This woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You are a businessman. You do not even know. But you are a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Follow me. We have not touched the area of finance. We will come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We will address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it up, katapaladaba. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't hit me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape, and the Lord says it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side outside please please don't miss it god answers prayers here yeah.
Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague and Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. Seas blowing. Something's moving. Something's changing. Seas blowing. Come on, celebrate for one minute. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Refuse to walk back to your seat. Refuse to walk back to your seat with that sickness. As I look at you, the Lord is revealing people's cases. I see ladies' infections. I see tumor lump in the breast. God is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face. Take it now. Hallelujah. I'm seeing HIV. I see a number of HIV here. Hepatitis. There are men here that have all some challenges. Low sperm counts, infertility, whatever kind of nonsense. Some of you have a woman here. I'm seeing palpitations. Sometimes you gasp for breath. Who is that person? You, madam, God is visiting you. You are not the only person. Please make sure you write a request. This is not a ritual. Hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before God. Hallelujah. Now, all you need, please, except if the, the ministers ask you what the situation is. Otherwise, just a touch i tell you the truth just a touch the worship team sang it just a touch for some of you to be like magic one moment is there another moment is gone i'm seeing somebody that coughs and you cough out sputum sometimes like blood your throat is dry sometimes you cough out blood ss i'm seeing a number of ss People who need genotype change I'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies you don't have to remain where you are hallelujah Jesus you are the great healer as we pray for you go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come it's called a miracle service Lord Jesus you revealed mighty miracles to me in the visions that you showed let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of jesus pastor jakes pastor williams now we are going to pray please let's pray ourselves someone take here someone take there jakes you can start there pastor williams here as we lay hands on you check do what you couldn't do return back if you need test sorry we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people but then I want you to know you will return rejoicing. You will return rejoicing. Worship team, are you ready? You give us that song. Something's changing. Where is Sam? God is visiting me. In the name of Jesus. Heal. Thank it. Heal. Thank it. Heal. Thank it. Heal. Thank you. Heal. Thank it now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Heal. whatever it is, heal now. Lumps in the breast, go, go, go. Lumps, go. Shekete kalabata kata, rekete kalabata. Oba 
God, check yourself. Miracles are happening. Mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Check it, check it, check it, check it. Heal, heal. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers direct them, please. Ushers direct them. On you, return to testimonies. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracle is for a child before they get there, leave the child so that they don't jump the child. Please, hallelujah! Continue, praise heal right now. Take it. Heal. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go back and check yourself. Take it now. Heal. Heal by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please, when they pray for you, go back to your seats. Shaba ba 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 ba. Shake it, break it, tell the boss. I bring you healing now, now, now. Please move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't worry. We we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Mommy, the Lord visits you right now. Leave her right now. Thou foul devil. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy, be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving, something's changing, she's moving. Be healed now. Please speak in that same time. Just a touch, just a touch. CD or something for job. Lift it, please. So that we lay hands on it. Lift it up. Let me pray. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. It doesn't matter. Out. 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 Now. Come out of her. Out of her. 
Sheketeka, a great Kosova. Come out, out of her right now. Fire upon you, every part of your body. Fire right now. Fire, come out of her. Come out of her. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Please, this side you can go, Pastor Jeff. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Healed right now. Be healed right now. God is able to do just what he says. Let the yoke of darkness overcome the body. And now, spirit of death, go! Spirit of infirmity, go! command you hey, lose your life right now.
remember I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with a mental disorder, this is how she has been talking. The Bible says he's confirming the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I'm not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. Go! No more madness. Sanity. Restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead.
tell you the things that God is showing me in the spirit and I will send one last plague upon Pharaoh and upon the nation of Egypt after that he shall let you go we are going to pray for the request now and then I will speak over your life already mighty things are happening some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there hallelujah please everybody stand up Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes. Okay, he's still praying for them. Ah, okay. Please, quickly. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please, while you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible, but you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible, do the impossible. Come on, pray, Lord, change stories. Hey. 
thousands of requests all over the country all around the world my god change stories Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord get one more break. Let this testimony come to order. Let this request change the testimony. Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request. And I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20 20, he said, Believe in the Lord and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper lord god of israel now arise oh lord would you come to your resting place and the ark of your mind and let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness we celebrate your love father in the name of jesus christ We pray right now. 
there are thousands of people miracles will be happening as I'm praying some of you is happening to your members at home father miracles will break out right now at the count of three I just felt the anointing on me one two prayer requests are being answered supernaturally job 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 a job is coming I see it marriage is coming I see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek. someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the peer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them Father, you have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer request here and for those streaming online I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you I speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of God become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus hallelujah Give God thanks, it is done. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper please lift your hands everybody please as i speak i want you to believe it i want you to receive it while i pray the lord told me if it does not happen it's because you did not speak it things will change right now as I speak the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking all I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to Hallelujah. Every terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost 
right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it infirmities are going infirmities are going 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 cancer go cancer go HIV die HIV die SS change to AA SS change to AA AS change to AA every blood disease go 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 every blood disease go now go now migraine headache go now go now fibroid go now go now peptic ulcer be gone right now be gone right now HIV one and two in any body or family I command you die now every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now every eye problem be gone now deafness in the ears go now any of your family members who is bedridden whether for stroke i'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of jesus i command them to arise from that bed every plague of death over any family he said and when i see the blood i will pass i pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and i said your family members will not see i cost that devil in the name of jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 hallelujah hallelujah hear me hear me any altar of darkness hear me i don't care where it's coming from that is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family right now that altar wherever it is it will catch fire now catch fire now it will catch fire now shake it up catch fire catch fire now every altar shake it every altar catch fire catch fire now every altar against any family catch fire now hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members 
I remove that embargo of disfavor now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. I will shout restore at the count of three. We are hurrying up. We are out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Believe that now. Believe that now. Shake it, shake it, shake it, Baba. Believe that now. Believe that now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled. Hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits masturbation pornography it's not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now i pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and i pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 now, 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 now. Anyone here looking for a job, or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you may that anointing hit you now take it take it i command miracle jobs miracle jobs miracle jobs in the name of jesus Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business i pray right now in the name that is above all names the bible says it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yield its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever it do it prospers i pray right now i command every business here grow in the name of jesus grow in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your family is at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you I don't care family problems God is visiting them now every family problem because God marked this miracle service for families every problem Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads 
of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free families be released I command peace I command prosperity I command love every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families be lifted now in the name of Jesus those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now wherever they are destiny help us I call you into the life of God's people wine pressers and bakers show forth come forth And he went to the tomb of Lazarus and Lazarus was dead four days and he called him forth right now whatever is dead in your life and your family I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now Whatever is dead, come forth now. Hallelujah. I release breakthrough into your life. Receive it. All kinds of breakthroughs. All kinds of breakthroughs. You are well favored. I pray for your spiritual life. Some of you, your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire word fire take it take it receive it in the name of jesus a hunger for the things of the spirit take it take it take it a hunger to study the word to be obedient receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah hear me the Bible says because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness and the Bible says that oil puts you above your fellows I pray for you wherever you go from today let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you let it distinguish you out of the crowd let it distinguish you receive it in the name of Jesus any member of your family that is not born again I pray by the permission of the spirit of god let the angels of god look for them and bring them into the faith now no matter how hardened they are we call them born again now we establish it hallelujah you will never be the same never be the same never ever be the same you will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid hallelujah now listen to me inside and outside please remain standing everybody many of you have come you have heard the word of the lord you have seen the wonders that god has done in our midst and i want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for jesus christ the bible says they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore i want to pray for you right now you have struggled jesus christ can give you rest both in this life 
and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to jesus some of you have given your heart to the lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time i want you to leave your seat i'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside god is speaking to you one appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old two please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what it happens tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i'd like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus i'm a sinner unable to help myself but this night i have heard your voice and i come to you save me help me i repent of my sins i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a new creation in christ I'm born again the Spirit of God is at work in me my sins are forgiven I am a brand new man Satan I denounce you and all your works from today I am a child of God forward ever backward never in the name of Jesus Christ now let me pray for you father preserve these ones in the name of jesus christ preserve them by the power of your holy spirit let their salvation be genuine preserve them in the mighty name of jesus christ i break the power of sin over your life i break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you in the name of jesus you are free i declare you saved by the word of god begin a new christian experience in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now congratulations i salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now i'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them Hallelujah.